welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am discussing with the some of the calculations part of the diesel cycles and basically with respect to the compression ratio cut off ratio and work done per kg of air and the thermal efficiency of the cycle so let us see the sum of the data is given to you over here an engine operates on an air standard diesel cycle so that will be defined the conditions at the start of the compression stroke are 353 degree kelvin and 100 kilopascal so that will be the initial condition of the temperature and pressure over here while at the end of the compression stroke and the pressure is 4 megapascal the energy absorbed is 700 kilojoule per kg of air and you will calculate the compression ratio, cutoff ratio and the work done per kg of air and finally the thermal efficiency of the cycle. So let us take out the given data from the data. So initially the temperature is given to you. So, so T1 is equal to 353 Kelvin. Pressure 100 kilopascal. So that will be converting into Pascal. So 10 raised to 5 Pascals. While the end of the compression stroke, the pressure E, so that will be as from the diesel cycle, P2, P3 equal to 4 megapascal. So 40 into 10 raised to 5 pascals. The energy absorbed is 700 kilojoule per kg. So Q supplied that should be equal to 700 kilojoule per kg. Finding the compression ratio, cutoff ratio, work done and the efficiency. So first of all starting with the PV diagram of these problems. So X axis will be representing as a volume. Y axis representing as a pressure. So as from the diesel cycle 1 to 2 process that will be representing as a adiabatic compression process. 2 to 3 process that will be constant pressure heat addition process. After 3 to 4 process that will be the adiabatic expansion process and 4 to 1 constant volume heat rejection process. So as from the data so V1 that should be equal to V4, V2, V3 and as from the pressure relations P1, P2 and P2 equal to P3 and that will be given 14 to 10 to 5 and P4. Here it will be the 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 it will be representing as adiabatic process so PV raised to gamma equal to constant. So starting with the first process so from the adiabatic compression process or you can say 1 to 2 process R is equal to V1 upon V2 that should be equal to P2 upon P1 raised to 1 upon gamma. So just put the value of P2 and P1. So 40 divided by 1 raised to 1 upon 1.4. So you will get the answer of the compression ratio that will be 13.94. So the answer number 1 over here. Now the simple relations P1 V1 upon T1 that will be equal to P2 V2 upon T2. So finally you will get T2 equal to P2 V2 T1 upon P1 V1. So just put the value of P2 and that will be over here. V2 T1 that will be 353 P1 1 into 10 raised to 5 and V1 upon V2 that will be in the form of compression ratio. So here V1 upon V2 that will be 13.94 so directly put the value of the compression ratio over here. So finally you will get the answer of T2 that will be 1012.78 Kelvin. Now from the given data Q supplied that should be equal to Cp into T3 minus T2. So from the data, QS is it will be given to you 700. So that will be equal to 1.005 into T3 minus 
12.78 so finally you will get the answer of T3 that will be equal to 1709.29 Kelvin now from the constant pressure process 2 to 3 cutoff ratio rho is equal to V3 upon V2 that should be equal to T3 upon T2 so just put the value of T3 over here and T2 from here so you will get the answer of the cutoff ratio 1.688 now the efficiency of this cycle that means 1 minus 1 upon R raised to gamma minus 1 into 1 upon gamma into rho raised to gamma minus 1 upon rho minus 1 so just put the value of cut compression ratio from here and cutoff ratio from here and gamma is equal to 1.4 just put the value and calculate so you will get the answer efficiency of a diesel cycle that should be equal to 60.87 percentage so that will be the answer number four and uh, some relations of the work done that should be equal to efficiency of the cycle into heat supply so that will be the work done so just put the value of the efficiency that will be 0 0.6087 into Q supply that will be 700 it will be given to you so you will get the answer of the work done 426.09 kilojoule per kg Kelvin so that will be the answer number 3 so this one is the simplest form to calculating the compression ratio cutoff ratio work done per kg of air and the thermal efficiency of a diesel cycle so if you like it then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials Thank you.